Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. We're going to focus this morning on addiction by prescription. Now, prescription drug abuse is second only to marijuana as our nation's most prevalent drug problem. Research also suggests that prescription drug abuse is the fastest growing drug problem in our country. We're going to talk more about this very serious issue with clinical psychologist Dr. Stephen Ragusia. Dr. Ragusia, thank you for being back with me today. Glad to be here. All right, Dr. Ragusia, why is prescription drug abuse on the rise so much? Well, the, the obvious answer is we don't know. Um, what we do know is that it is. Um, <clears throat> what recent research shows is that the majority of studies show that overall drug abuse is on the decline, but <clears throat> prescription drug abuse is actually on the increase, which is surprising. Um, and, um, and yet in some sense it shouldn't be. All you have to do is turn on the TV and you'll see more commercials for drugs than almost anything. Um, you know, what do you see on TV? You see commercials for, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I clear my throat, I'm sorry. Um, you see commercials for Viagra, for um, uh, um, uh, antidepressant medications, for anti-anxiety medications, for medications to make your bones stronger. Um, we have come in our society to be what many people refer to us as the pill society. Mm -hmm. um, we think that a pill will fix anything. And uh, unfortunately, that isn't true, but we really believe it. So one of the problems that we have is that a number of drugs that physicians have used over time to treat a variety of medical conditions um, are drugs that can work miracles for some people but can also present us with a lot of grave dangers. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are addictive, some of them are what's called habituating, which means that you have to take higher and higher doses to get the same effect. Some of them um, are habit forming, um, which means they're not physiologically addictive, but we want them more and more often as we take them, they simply become a habit. Um, and. Um, uh, and then some of those drugs are very safe to take for a short time, but when you take them for a long time, they can cause really serious problems. And it's almost like, Dr. Ragusia, we think <coughs> that because these are medi medications that our doctors are prescribing us, then they're safe to take. That, that's right. You know, we, we all watch doctor shows on TV. Well, the doctor's not going to give you anything that's wrong, right? I mean, the doctor's going to give you something that's good for you. That's what medicine is, it's something that makes you better, okay? <clears throat> um, the problem is that that isn't true for all medications under all conditions. Mm -hmm. And another thing, Dr. Ragusia, is that these drugs that were being prescribed by our doctors, if they're abused, they can ruin your lives. I've heard so many stories, Dr. Ragusia, of people who have become addicted to a drug such as Oxycontin and it's just a trickle-down effect in their life. And, you know, the next thing they know, they've lost everything. They've lost their career, they've lost relationships, lost family. And Oxycontin or Oxycodone. Oxycontin is the brand name for Oxycodone. Um, and, uh, it's, it's a slight variant on the drug. It's, I won't get into the details of it. But <clears throat> um, it's one of the most dangerous drugs we've got going around right here, right now. Um, <clears throat> I, I heard some research a couple of years ago that said that in New York City, one in 12 people were taking Oxycontin or Oxycodone. <clears throat> one in 12 people. Yeah. That's scary. That's scary. <laughs> and, <clears throat> sorry, out there in, in TV land, I have to keep clearing my voice. Um, uh, oxy, this drug, Oxycontin or Oxycodone, is a painkiller. And if you're in severe pain and you really need to get rid of that pain, well, it can be a miracle drug. It can, it can make the difference between being able to live a day reasonably well and being in wretched, utter misery, praying for death. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Okay? <clears throat> but almost never is it okay to take these drugs for prolonged periods of time. There are exceptions, but they're rare exceptions. And what's happened is that people have wound up thinking that 
uh, um, if one pill is good, then two are better, and four is better than that. And if taking it one day is good, then two is better, and three and four and five. And many healthcare providers, unfortunately, are unwilling to have the argument with the patient um, uh, and set firm limits about what they're willing to provide them with. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it's perfectly acceptable to hand out a drug like that, for example, after surgery, give the person enough to take for three to five days, something like that. Any physician would be happy to do that. Um, on the other hand, to give somebody 30 days worth of that medication is just asking for trouble. Um, not everybody becomes addicted to it, but some people do. And when they do, do, as you said, it can destroy their lives and their families' lives. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to take a quick break right now, but when we return from these messages, we'll talk more about prescription drug abuse. Stay with us. I'll be right back after these messages.